I'm gonna show you how to assemble new IKEA Pax wardrobe with the new sliding doors. In the part one, we're gonna do the IKEA Pax wardrobe frame and we're gonna assemble it on the floor. I'm gonna explain everything regarding the ceiling clearance. In the part two, we're gonna join the IKEA Pax wardrobe frames. There's some changes here as well. And we're gonna put the bottom and the top rail. In a part three, we're gonna assemble new IKEA Pax sliding doors. I'm gonna explain everything about the soft closing here about the panels for the sliding doors, how to take the doors off, how to put them back on, how to adjust the hinges if your doors not lining up with the wardrobe frames and everything you need to know, all the details regarding new IKEA Pax sliding doors. But let's do the part one now. This is all you're getting here, two boxes for the frames, one box for the doors, and two boxes for the panels for the sliding doors. Useful tools, bigger electric screwdriver, smaller one, hammer, and if you're working on the wooden floor, the knee pads are useful. So this is one box for one IKEA Pax wardrobe frame. I'm gonna show you one as both of them are the same. So this is all the parts you're getting here. Back panel, manual instructions you're not gonna need if you're gonna follow this video. Before you start assembling, put a cardboard on the floor. If you have wooden floor, you're not going to scratch your floors or furniture. And here we have bottom and the top panel. Two slim panels, one back with the screws and L brackets. Position the panels exactly as I'm going to do it here. So this gap here is going to be on the outer side. Going to have easier time if you're going to position them as I have it here. And same on the other side, the gap is on the outer side. In the middle, you have two white edges all along. So that's going to be the front side of the wardrobe. This is one back with the screws. like to organize them. I know better what I'm working with this way. Got some brackets for if you like to attach the wardrobe on the wall, which we're not going to do in this case. I'm going to explain our ceiling clearance situation here. So we have 236 and half centimeter IKEA Pax wardrobe frame. And in our case, we have 12.2 centimeters space between the ceiling and the top of the wardrobe. That's a good space to build the wardrobe on the floor as we're going to do it here. If your ceiling clearance is less than 8 centimeters, you're going to have to build it on the floor. In our case, even when we're going to lift the wardrobe up, we're still going to have about 5 centimeters left. So if your ceiling clearance is about 8 centimeters, you're going to be pretty close to the ceiling. So make sure measure your ceiling before you buy. If your clearance is less than 8 centimeters you're going to need to build the wardrobe upright which the video on it is here i'm going to leave the link in the description back to the ikea pax wardrobe frame so the edges on the long panels on the outer side on the middle you have two white edges so that's going to be front of the wardrobe bottom and top panel or dividing panels and we're going to have these wooden plugs place two wooden plugs on each side for those two panels Secure them with a hammer. And exactly the same on the other side. Two wooden plugs for each side. So one of them gonna be top, one bottom. At this point, it doesn't matter yet. They both identical. Gap here. Now we can turn the panel upside down. And the gap is at the bottom now. We're gonna have those two brackets. It's a part of the with adjustable legs. We're gonna place them in those two holes and secure them with the hammer. Now we can turn the panel upside down. Don't slide it because you're gonna scratch it with that bracket. We're gonna need those locks. Now each lock you have the arrow and the arrow pointing to the front hole. This way. Exactly the same for all of them. So you're gonna have three on each side of this bottom and top panel. On the other side, same. The arrow on the lock pointing to the front hole. If you turn the lock other way around or left or right, you're not gonna be able to lock these bottom and top panels with the side panel. So position the arrow as I'm doing it here. Now we have those two small panels. So one is colored on one side and on the Another one is playing on both sides. Wooden plugs, two for each side of these slim panels. 
So the plain panel is going to be at the back and the colored panel is going to be at the front of the wardrobe frame. At the side exactly the same, two for each side. So this is the top, this is the bottom. You're going to need those screws. So on the top, we're going to go in the first line of holes and it's going to be free on each side. Go just till the stopper, not deeper, not higher with those screws. If you're going to go higher or deeper, you're going to have a hard time to lock the locks. We have those brackets and four screws if you like to attach the wardrobe on the wall, but even if not, put them in, so maybe in the future you decide to do it, so you're just going to have them there. At the bottom is the third hole from the bottom. It's going to be three screws on each side of this panel. Secure the screws just to the stopper. Now this is the bottom panel as we put those two brackets down here for the legs. The adjustable legs. One part plastic, one metal. Join them together this way. And secure the legs into the brackets which we did previously. Go all the way in and from the other side you should be out about two millimeters so when you're gonna put the frame up you're not gonna break them and then later on you adjust them I depend if you're gonna need screw them down see I left about two millimeters maybe a little bit more so when we're gonna lift the water we're not gonna have a problem now you can lift this panel up now the back of the wardrobe is on the top and join them together with the bottom panel this way Secure the locks by twisting them to the right side. So this is the bottom panel of the wardrobe. You have those two slim panels. We're gonna go with the front panel, which is colored on one side. So the colored side is gonna be at the front. Slide it in under the legs and it's those first two holes. Just push it in. Now we're gonna do the top panel. See the gaps? All the gaps are going to be on the inner side, all around the wardrobe. So you can place the back panel in comfortably later on. Just slide it in. And if you have the locks in the right position, you're not going to have any problem to secure them by twisting them to the right side, all three of them. The second side panel, fix the top all the way in. Now this is the slim panel at the back, put it in the side which we already secure and hold it. Now hold the slim panel and push this bottom side of the side panel in. Once you're in you can let go the slim panel. Secure the bottom panel as well, the slim one. Once you don't have any gap, you secure all three locks by twisting them to the right side. Uh, we have the frames almost ready to secure all the locks as we don't have any gaps. This is the back panel. You see the hole here that's going to be on the top. Open it up, slide it in this way. So those two holes are there for those brackets if you like to attach the wardrobe to the wall. So slide the back panel in and if you're in the correct position you're going to have equal gap all around depends some of the back panels are slightly differently cut uh, cut slightly shorter so you see here we have about millimeter and millimeter here but just to make sure we're in the right position measure from corner to corner and you need to get an equal number then you know the wardrobe frame is in the right position this is important as if you're not going to do that and you're not going to be in a correct position which means 90 degrees in each corner you may have a problem at the end with the doors so make sure your wardrobe is in the 90 degree and then secure the back panel with the frame with the nails all around use all of them so you're not gonna have any bubbles on the inner side once you finish you can lift the IKEA PAX wardrobe frame up and position it in a place where you want to have it and that's how you assemble IKEA PAX wardrobe frames. I'm not going to bother you with the second one as it is exactly the same as the first one. Don't forget to check out part 2 when we're going to join the IKEA PAX wardrobe frames together.
there's few extra screws I'm gonna explain why they are there and we're gonna do the bottom panel and the top panel and in the part 3 I'm gonna explain how to assemble new IKEA packs sliding doors frames how the soft closing working how you put the panels in how to take the doors off how to put them back on and how to adjust the hinges if your doors not lining up properly with the frames thank you for watching see you in a part two